Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Um, today I'm going to talk about The Shadow of What Was Lost book review. Um, this is a novel debut, debut for James Islington, I think that's how you say it. Um, yeah, this 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 was a real surprise. I didn't I didn't know I was gonna enjoy this. I um I, I watch a lot of Mike's book reviews and he he really recommends this trilogy. So I I thought I'd pick up the first one and just give it a go. Um, there are similarities to Robert Jordan and Brandon Sanderson. I can't lie. Uh, you know it's kind of a coming of age story with these characters. The the main character kind of struggles with. His abilities and he's not the same as everyone else you know kind of typical tropes um but there's a lot of fun fun kind of spins on this on the, these fantasy tropes um this this is a chunky book now for a for first book uh in a trilogy um around 700 pages long so it, it did take me about a week to kind of make my way through this reading just a, a bit every day um starts off really well really interesting um and there is kind of a bit of a dip, but then it really picks up closer to the middle to the end. And, and once it starts picking up, you just don't want to put it down because it is really good. Um, and I thought it was really a uh, really good novel for a first uh, first time publishing book, a debut novel. Um, but yeah, it's set in this fantasy world and there's a barrier separating this world from another land. And on the other on the other side of the barrier, there's loads of enemies who want to come over and fight our main characters and uh, the people they care for. So, um, there's magic involved. Um, there's a good magic system. Um, it is quite interesting. Uh, there, there's a real interesting aspect where if somebody, if you do something to a person with magical abilities, you can shut them off. Um. And you can make this person like an outcast in the world. So I thought that was really interesting. Um, but I don't want to give too much away. If you're look, in, interested in a new fantasy trilogy, um, something a bit not light, but you don't go in expecting it to, to you know, throw the book out the window and change fantasy forever. But it kind of follows your typical fantasy tropes, but keeps you really interested and just a really enjoyable story. Um, then I would definitely recommend The Shadow of What Was Lost. I think I'll give it a 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10 because it was really enjoyable, but it wasn't, like, it wasn't, uh, um, it wasn't, I, maybe a 7, right? I'll give it a 7. It's good. And I'm really, I do want to read the second one. I suppose that's always a great thing. If you want to read the second book, um, the first book's done the, the job properly. As you want to continue with the story um so yeah guys check out the shadow of what was lost and let me know what you think talk to you guys soon